Welcome back to another episode of Brands Brands. I'm Mark Brand from Alpha Controls, one of Canada's leading suppliers of sensing, measuring, and controlling instrumentation for a variety of different industries. Today we're going to be talking about humidity calibration. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the three most popular methods for calibrating your humidity sensors. Salt solutions, humidity generators, and dual pressure generators. Let's start with salt solutions. Salt solutions are a very simple way to generate a fixed value for your humidity calibrations. You simply dispense the salt solution into your calibration chamber and wait for it to equilibrate. Each salt solution generates a fixed value of humidity, allowing for a relatively stable calibration of your humidity sensor. The second method we're going to be looking at is humidity generators. Humidity generators humidify or dehumidify depending on the specific relative humidity value you're trying to achieve. Here at Alpha, we've been selling and servicing Rotronic product for many years. Today, we're going to be looking at the HG2 from Rotronic and the HC100 from Michelle Instruments, two humidity chambers that are going to be able to meet your calibration needs. The HG2 chamber is a very popular chamber, which will cover almost all your temperature and humidity needs. As you can see on the door, there's multiple ports, which allows you to do multiple probes at the same time. You can also open the door, and inside you can put portable devices such as data loggers and small handhelds as well. There's also some automation built into the software which allows you to program recipes, perform an automated calibration, and automatically store all your results on a USB drive. This is very useful when you want to run your chamber overnight unattended. The second generator we're going to look at is a HydroCal 100. If you're only doing humidity probes and you don't require them to be calibrated over a certain temperature range, this is the generator for you. The HC100 is a cost-effective and quick to stabilize humidity generator. It also has the ability to run on battery, which makes it pretty portable. As you can see, the HC100 allows you to do seven probes at the same time. Another thing I wanted to demonstrate for you is the speed at which it can reach uh, stabilization. So let's change the set point to 60 and watch how fast it goes up. While we're waiting for that, the other thing I wanted to mention is like the HG2, there's also some built-in automation which allows you to have some probe feedback and allows you to do some automated calibrations. As you can see down here, you can have all the probes connected and giving you readings right on the screen. One of the benefits of using these humidity generators is they're temperature compensated, which really aids in your uncertainty values. The other benefit is you're allowed to do multiple probes at the same time. Another benefit is the automation that's built into these, which really helps with the efficiency of doing your calibrations. Some of the things to watch out for is these can be pricey, and when specking out your humidity generator, make sure you know its limitations. Can it only do probes? Does it have a chamber which allows you to do other devices, etc.? The third method I want to talk to you guys about is the dual pressure method. But to do that, we've got to go to the lab. So we're currently running a test in our Thunder Scientific 2500 chamber. So I apologize ahead of time for the background noise. Dual pressure chambers uses Dalton's law of partial pressures to change the relative humidity proportional to the pressure changes. The 2500 gives you the ability to do pretty much anything. With the chamber inside here of 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches, you have the ability to do chart recorders, multiple probes, multiple data loggers, basically whatever you want. The chamber can be controlled by this software package called the 2500 Control Log. As you can see, it brings in a lot of automation, as well as it gives you all your psychometric calculations on the side. One of the benefits of using a dual chamber like the 2500 is its low uncertainties, the ability to do multiple probes at the same time, and a complete automated system. Some of the things to watch out for is these can be very expensive. They're definitely not portable, and they do need an external compressor to run with them. That's all I got for today. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands. Brands.